Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and in this episode, I am going to compare two products which is useful for the process automation. Recently, Microsoft has introduced Agent Flow underneath Copilot Studio. Now, this Agent Flow, when we look at the functionality, it is usually looks like a power automate flow. So there is a question arise in our mind that what is the difference then between this agent flow that we are building with the Copilot Studio versus Power Automate as a product that we are already having and we are already creating lots of automated flow, schedule flow and other manual flows with the Power Automate as a product. What is the key difference between this agent flow versus Power Automate? Let's compare it side by side over here. Alright, now again, remember one thing, this is a very, very new fresh topic. This agent flow has been introduced just a week ago. So whatever research I have done based on that, I'm just providing my comparison over here. So don't just judge me if I miss any of the point over here. Probably if you know some better point between the comparison, maybe add in the comment section so others can also be learned from you guys. So I just wanted to make this video as a two-way interactive video rather than just picking me over here. You just need to add your thoughts as well in the comment section over here. Okay, so based on my research, I covered up with mainly three points which I find as a main difference between these particular two products. So let me get started with this thing over here side by side. So first of all, let's see one important thing over here. So first, let's open up this agent flow over here. When you look at the agent flow and when you click on new agent flow over here, specifically, you are having two options over here. Either you can create a new flow via description or let's say for an example, even if you want to start from the scratch, you can able to do that. So basically, it is providing you the AI face facility using which you can simply create your new flow. Ultimately, when the flow is getting created, it is providing you similar like power automate kind of experience. If I open up my any existing power automate, you can see that you can build over here any kind of complex flow depending on your requirement that you have over there. And over here as well, when I click on keep and continue, ultimately it is nothing but creating the similar kind of power automate experience over here for you. Agent flow in the Copilot Studio and cloud flow in the Power Automate serve the distinct purpose and offer different functionalities, although they can complement each other in automation task. Agent flow in the Copilot Studio are specifically designed to provide a native experience for building and integrating the agent within the business model in Copilot Studio. They focus on intelligent AI driven automation and interaction with the system. Agent flow are optimized for use case is in the Copilot Studio. So let me tell you, if you are building any kind of agents or if you are building any kind of autonomous agent, then at that time it is good if you are referring this particular product. And why? I will give you that answer in a minute. Second thing, Power Automate is very popular product for the automation since here we are already using. Here you are creating different kind of cloud flow, schedule flow, autonomous flow, instant flow, right? And over here you can write a complex kind of process automation, approval process, everything you are doing in the Power Automate. So Power Automate has a wider use cases over there. Okay, while well, generally I would prefer at this point, if you are building any kind of autonomous agent kind of functionality, at that time better to go with this agent flow. Otherwise, you can still do all your activities with your cloud flow over here. Now, second important difference in between these two products are the first thing is that this Copilot Studio agent flow will work under different licensing model. If you are if, talk about agent flows licensing, it will be falling under Copilot Studio licensing and Power Automate already have its different licensing where we are having Power Automate uh, per flow license or we have Power Automate Premium License. It will fall underneath that particular license. Now, the thing is that if you are creating any kind of agent flow, you don't require separate separate licensing over there. Entire Copilot Studio licensing is coming up as a bundle. So, you don't need to buy the licenses for each user. It is at your tenant level. From those tenant level licenses, it will consume as a message. Why? Power Automate, obviously, you need to apply as by per flow or per user. So whichever account you configure to uh, use your Power Automate flow, that is something which is being used over there. So that is 
the second difference so the good thing about that is let's say for an example if your organization is someone who is not doing lots of power automate but let's say if you are creating some sort of co-pilot agent or autonomous agent kind of functionality and you don't require a separate power automate license over there for yourself at the time you can simply start creating the agent flow and it will consider as your inbuilt natively available co-pilot studio licensing itself so that is again a very very uh, important move uh, and again like a main key difference i can say the licensing part okay now let me talk about the third important aspect over here like sharing mechanism so in cloud flow generally when we are done with our flow and when we click on share button we can share our power automate flow with the different set of user and we can provide the different kind of permission like run only permission or let's say if you want to make the another person as a owner we can ma make it over here co-owner and this kind of functionality we are having over there while in co-pilot studio we don't have any such functionality over here so unlike cloud flow agent flow can't be copied shared have co-owners or give run only permission in copilot studio okay so this is another third important aspect over here all right so to summarize cloudflow in the power automate basically provide a flexible low code approach to automate the workflow across the various application and services they offer a wide range of connectors and action to integrate with the different system and services Cloudflow are designed for general automation scenarios and can be used independently or with agent to create end-to-end -end autonomous solution. And for agent flow, I would say it is only and only be used with the autonomous agent. Okay, based on my initial finding, I find that generally whenever I build any kind of co-pilot agent for myself or specifically I'm uh, making the autonomous agent functionality, at the time I would like to choose the agent flow over here. Otherwise, rest of the things you are already doing with the power automate thing as over there only. Okay, and another difference I find here as a very interesting one is its licensing as I spoke because Copilot Studio doesn't require any additional power automate licensing. It can already include it into Copilot Studio licensing. So if you are having that kind of use cases at that time, you can consume it over there, right? So yeah, that's overall difference which I wanted to talk about here. I would like to hear from you guys as well. Like what do you think about these two differences over here? If you know any other difference for me, please enter that out into the comment section. I would happy to hear from you guys as well. Okay. And uh, if you like my content, don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on the power platform. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. Looking for any paid training or any kind of paid services, you can always visit our website and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are available in the description box. So see you all with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.